Day one of the voter transfer exercise at the old Electoral Commission head office experienced network challenges which significantly affected the smooth running of the exercise. How some patrons left the premises due to the network challenges, others waited in anticipation for the network to be restored. But party agents explained that this was a normal occurrence. Out for their machine, sometimes that is how it is. The challenge is that sometimes, especially the first, day, the first two days, the network didn't help us. So people who came, they need to go back and come the following day. And that one also caused the party, political parties. Others, however, blame the Electoral Commission for not being fully prepared before kick-starting the exercise. The system is down. Nothing is working. So they are saying because it's first day. If you are not ready, why do you come? So being it first day is not an excuse. You should be ready. So far as you've advertised it long ago that today you are starting, your system must be ready for it. The Electoral Commission official at Ayawaso West, Lydia Ejiri, however, assured that the issues would be resolved. Because today is the first day of the exercise, we believe that these things wouldn't halt the exercise. And we know that it will be smooth as the days goes by. She further explains the criteria for people who are eligible for the transfer of votes. Those who are qualified for transfers are those people who have stayed at their current residency for more than one year. And when they come, they are supposed to come with their voters' ID card and a proof of their new residency to the Electoral Commission, to the returning officer, for him or her to process the application. The exercise is expected to end on June 14, 2024. Judith Brown, TV3 News.